All right, so this is David from goldstartool.com. We have a video already on this one, GC-8810, the post bed sewing machine, right? So many people ask when they call in what thickness of thread we could use. I just got hold of some uh, 138 bonded thread, 138 bonded thread, and uh, I'm trying it and it works. Now, I wanna just show you what I got first in the back. Before I had, the first of all, the bottom thread is different. The bottom thread is uh, not 138, obviously. It is probably uh, T60 or T70. I got this right here. We got like, we call kind of bird nest type of thing. So we don't want that. All I did to get better result was I tied this one, tied the tension, and I'm gonna go ahead and see. And look at it now. Much better. Much better. This is what you need to do. Whenever you change the thread, the thickness, it's very important that you also change the tension pressure, less or more. So we used to do T105 thread, right now I did 138, and I'm gonna change it now, I'm gonna go crazy, I'm gonna do it with 207. 207 is really heavy, these are both bonded thread. Um, so, the way I usually change is I go ahead and uh, oh, my hand here. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna change it. So, to change the thread, right? From here, I cut, right? And, so what, we did 138, perfect. Now I'm going to 207. A lot of people call me. What, I knew 138 for sure it takes, and I promised a lot of people that yes, it worked with 138 but now I'm putting the 207. Both threads are bonded, all right? All you have to do is just put it through and you see this one? You could lose this one. You see when you do that, that it opens up. Take the... Come on now. Take this and just pull it through. See? Pull it through. Pull it through. Pull it through. Now, gotta make sure that, um, I always say this to people, to customers. You want the thread to be very, very, up here, loose. So this one doesn't go through the... See, even now this is thicker thread, it's harder to pull. I would feel it, I know. So I could go ahead and lose them more. Um, the way you, by the way, the way you do this is if you want to thread this needle, the roller feet is on your way. You just push it down and swing it open. Push down, swing open. Um, yes. I have not changed the, the needle yet. This is something that I should do because I'm going very much bigger. Look at this. Just look at this thickness of... Um, Silicone spray will help a lot if you guys have hard time um, threading something. Uh, you might want to use the, this one might not even go through it. You know what? Uh, this video will just come as soon as we have something that is going out for a customer. I get a chance to just film, so there is no order of, um, um, oh yeah, come on, you got it, all right? Silicone spray, Stella, let me do silicone spray, por favor. So, 
this silicone spray, I showed it in so many videos, it's not gonna hurt you, your machine or you. Nothing's gonna happen. Could always go ahead and just silicone spray. See, that's put it through everything if you want. It's not gluey, it's nothing, it's just a silicone spray. We have it, you could buy it from anybody you wanna buy it from. So when you wanna close this back on, you just lift, lift with your lifter and back here Lindsay you just close it it's done okay now to start I always like to go ahead and do the first couple of stitch yes let's see let's see if this will take it Just pull this out. Sometimes you gotta baby them. Talk to them, talk to the sewing, don't get frustrated. Talk to the sewing machine, it's very important. When they know you talk to them, they... Let's see. This is a very fast machine. Yeah. 207 is, ain't gonna work on this machine. Unless I'm doing something wrong, but um, 206, a 207 thread is not gonna work on this. Um, it's not gonna work on it, see? Um, I, the, the eye of the, uh, the plate is too small for the 207 because you're gonna have one going in, one coming out. It's gonna be too small. However, I really think that if somebody make the hole bigger, it should work. Um, I am going to give it one more try. Let me just, don't lose this one. Let me pull this out. Okay. I'm gonna lose this one too, more. Okay, let me just go ahead and, whatever you guys do, do not touch the bobbin case or bobbin inside there. You don't wanna, um, let me just take this out. Easily you could take them out, you could put some airs in it if you want. Um, What I do if this is too small, I take it and I roll it a couple of times, see like that and pull it out. Uh, I really don't want to open up the, uh, yeah, I think the, that eye of the needle is too tiny for that. Yeah. Here you go, you see that? Yeah, see, it gets. Yeah, it's just too, too thick to go around it. I'm gonna just try it one more time. This video was supposed to be very fast, Lindsay. We don't wanna keep people. <laughs> But anyway, I just, uh, 138 is good, 138 is perfect. I'm just trying to see if we could get the 107. And if you could get that, then we're good. And, but overall, the machine is a great, great machine. I just wanna pull the thread out. Here you go, we got it out. Let's give it one more chance, one more try. Whoever owns this machine that we're sending it out to, nothing is happening to your machine. I'm just putting it to a limit. All right, let's go. We're gonna try, we're gonna try. 
again, as always, I like, I look them this out. Let's see, I'm gonna, let's see. Let's see. Resetting the computer because sometimes it gives me an. Yeah, it's not gonna budge for 207. So, 138 is the max that I could use on this machine for people that are uh, doing it. 138, yeah, it's gonna get stuck, it's not gonna be good. We're gonna stick with 138 if you need to. You could do all type of thread, but uh, I did 138 bonded thread and there was no problem. 207, it seems like it's too, too heavy for this machine. Uh, thank you for watching. Let me know what type of video you want me to do for you next. Thank you.